Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing another tier list video rating another batch of gacha games. This time we have 15 really great gacha games for you. Ignore this little icon, I accidentally put a duplicate in uh, and I couldn't get it removed, so don't worry about that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel as well. We're just going to be jumping straight into this tier list essentially today. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed your time. Anyways, guys, let's jump straight into things. Oh, by the way, before we do, I have a Discord now. Link will be down in the description below. If you're a mobile gamer or just like that kind of gaming, just certain trick kind of stuff in general, jump down into the description and join the Discord. It's a small growing community that will eventually be growing over time. Anyways, guys, let's jump into things. So we've got uh, another Eden here first. Now, I played this game quite... A little bit back in the day, uh, I will give credit, it does a good story, it plays more like a single player kind of RPG rather than a multiplayer kind of gacha kind of game, uh, but if I'm going to rate it somewhere, I'd say it's pretty middle of the road kind of B, uh, and if I'm being completely honest, I probably, I'd honestly probably put it in the C tier these days, it's a good game, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit dated, there's much better gacha options out there if you choose to pick one. Uh, next up, we have Epic 7. Now, if you guys don't know this game, you've been living under a rock. It has a lot of crossover events, ama amazing anime art style, really good skill animations, good combat, good overall kind of gameplay. However, yet again, it's one of those situations where it's a bit dated, a bit old now. Uh, I'd still be putting this into the B tier. There are better game options out there, but it's a solid B. It's a good game. Uh, Figure Fantasy. I honestly probably put this one in B tier. It is an idle game. But it's one of those idle games that actually has a good production value and actually has a lot of stuff kind of going on in it. There's a lot of game modes, the character models are really good, it's all 3D. Um, the overall gameplay is pretty nice. And I'd say overall, if you're going to choose an idle game, this is probably one of the best ones you can choose currently. If this is your kind of game, you're probably going to love this game. It's probably the best one there is of this type of game. Okay, next up we have uh, Grimlight. This is a game I've been playing on my channel. Uh, I think it's pretty damn good. I'm going to put it at the top of B. However, there has been quite a few issues with the game for launching. They put it back into beta after launching it. So I'm going to put it into C tier. I do like the game. However, the game has kind of just got nothing really going on. There's only like three game modes in the game. One of those is a resource grind, one of those is an event at the moment, so there's really not much content really in the game currently. Like, I've been playing for like a, uh, a week and I already have pretty much all the characters. Like, <laughs> no offense to this game, it's pretty free to play friendly, combat's kind of basic, but it's like, it, it's, it's an okay game, uh, but it, it's got a few issues at the moment and kind of lacking in content, so I need some more stuff going on in this game over here. Uh, Lord of Heroes, we're going to chuck this straight in at the D tier game. Uh, although I love the visuals for this game, I did not enjoy this game's combat, I did not enjoy this game's story. Its gacha system is like really, really weird, there, which there isn't one. You kind of have these like different currencies you use to buy different characters in the menu screens, but you don't really get high rarity characters unless you say... I, I, basically, they tried to do something unique and different with a gacha system, and it, or not, not even gacha system, character purchasing system, because you don't roll for characters in this one. Uh, it did not work, it was not good. Uh, Octopath Traveler, I'm going to say this is probably a C tier game. Uh, I've been playing it quite a bit. Its story is pretty good, its gameplay is pretty good, but the actual game itself is still a lot of technical issues, like low, uh, slow, like laggy menus, low frame rate, low resolution. Like it could be, it, there's a lot of technical issues that just turn me off playing this game. However, the small amount of combat I have played is pretty good. Also, controls are kind of poopy as well and exploring the world. Yeah, this is a bit of a hit and miss with me. Um, because the story and combat though is really good, it's basically just the, exactly the story and combat from Octopath the Traveler and the game. I'm going to give this one a solid B tier, but as a gacha game, it's interface and all that kind of stuff, technical issues, it's it's pretty old in the way it feels, even though it just came out like a couple days, like a week ago. Um, Utter Confusion, I think this is a really good game. Uh, if you like your waifus, which I do, uh, you're going to enjoy this game quite a bit. Uh, there's okay combat, pretty good story, lots of different gameplay options, a variety, and it's a very fresh new game that just released into global, so there's a bunch of things going on in it, there's got events, they just had an Adelie Riser event, I think it's still running, it might be ending pretty soon, uh, but Point is, overall, there's a lot going on in this game. It's got a good combat, good waifus, good everything. So I'd strongly recommend giving this one potentially a go. Alrighty. This one's going to get a little bit heated. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins uh, Grand Cross, I believe the game is called. Not Origin. Origin's a new one. I have played a little bit of this game. Uh, story and graphics and gameplay, pretty decent. However... It's not free to play friendly at all. It's uh, very, very rough with its currency. You, you, you get punished for being a free to play, and it's gonna get knocked down another tier because its main end game is PvP. Now, 
I don't personally mind PvP in my gacha games. A lot of people hate it. I personally don't mind it, but this game is so horrendous with its PvP because paying out your ass gives you such a massive, huge advantage in this game to the point where I'm just like, no, I don't wanna touch this shit. I don't wanna touch it. Um, and yes, there might be a lot of like experienced players like, no, 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 you can totally do this as a free to play. It's like, I don't care. I don't like getting my ass bought by a level like max level Eskinor with a bunch of other shit in the team. Like, I don't wanna play this. It's not fun. It, especially when it's main end game, it's like PvP. And there's just too much going on in it. I just, it's not free to play friendly at, at all. So that's a DT game for me, in my opinion. Um, Langrissa. Hmm. I'd say it's probably a CT game. It's pretty old now. It's kind of getting on its older, kind of last legs kind of thing. Not last legs, it's just older game. Uh, it's got a good tactics gameplay. So if you like the tactics gameplay, you're going to probably enjoy this. Uh, I personally just got kind of bored of it. I don't think it's the best option for this kind of game. Uh, there aren't many options for these kind of games though. So if you like a tactics game, this is probably going to be your best option for a tactics catch game. Either that or like Fire Emblem Heroes. There aren't many choices for you guys, unfortunately, sorry. Um, Alice Fiction, now this came out a few, uh, last week, I was a bit negative in this game at first, I've kind of warmed up to it quite a bit, I think it's a lot better than I initially thought it was, I gave it too much, uh, I was too harsh on it at first, um, and I can acknowledge, I still don't think it's amazing, but I can acknowledge that a lot of people will think this game is pretty damn incredible, however, I'm gonna put it the, right at the tippy top of B, uh, if it was like an A minus tier in between here, I'd probably put an A minus, but it's at top of B, I think this is actually a pretty solid game, if you want to get into a good gacha game. Um, near reincarnation. Now the problem I have with this game is story-wise, pretty great. Graphics-wise, pretty great. Gameplay, big down thumbs down for me. Uh, the gameplay is super boring. It's it's kind of just shit. <laughs> Skill animations, like turn-based combat, it's all just not very good. And the way you kind of move around the world is kind of sucks as well. And like the mission stage before you select mission you work around, it's like big massive maze pathway thing. It's just completely linear. There's no, it, it's it's not a, it's. I want to like this game because I love the Neo franchise, but like this shit ain't it. I'm sorry. This is like bottom of C tier. It, it's. <laughs> It's a good, it's an okay game for a little bit, but it's like a main gacha game I would not recommend playing. Uh, Summoner's War, chuck this in as bad pick, that's gone bottom of D tier. Uh, I don't think this game's good, so I'm sorry, like it's not good. <laughs> it's old, it's uh, dated, very not pay free to play friendly, like it's just, just don't even bother with this one, it's not great. Uh, World Flipper, hmm. This is the last game, ignore this one, I got a duplicate on here. Uh, we're gonna put this at the top of B tier. I personally think World Flipper is a pretty damn good game, however, what killed it for me is the fact that you're rolling for these tiny little pixelated kind of like waifus and husbandos. And like, there's this, they, they show detail in the character menu, but in the actual gameplay, there's these tiny little characters that have a few pixels and it's just like, I'm good. I don't want that. If they were like actual proper, if they fix that, then I'd have no problem with it. But it just kind of feels like I'm rolling for like stuff that is just these tiny little pixels in game. Sure, they have, some of them have cool skill animations, but it's like, I'm not really about that. I need some detail in my waifus to be able to show that. Uh, but yeah, no, not for me personally, but I can understand how some people like this. It does have pretty solid gameplay. I put it in B tier. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for our gacha game tier list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe channel as well from you guys. Please do. It really helps out the channel. It helps grow it. Uh, and also check out the Discord if you want to. Yet again, links down in the description below. Anyways, guys, hope you have a good one. See you later.